Hello, I'm Matthew Dratt, and I will be showing you how to get AI to follow you in single player levels. I'm going to be using Danger Canyon for this just because uh, it's simple. Uh, that got cut. <laughs> I was like wondering what that was. So I'm going to simply just use a straight path. I'm going to have the AI follow me from here all the way to, I guess, down here by this thing. So first thing we're going to want to do, well, I already have my single player level set up to where it'll start and I'll spawn and everything. So once you get all that working, I'm going to create a new encounter here. I'm just going to call this encounter because <laughs> whatever, not initially created player because I'm too lazy to set that up in the scripts. And then I might as well do this when it starts up. AI place encounter. So the player spawns right here. So I'm going to have create a new squad. This will be extra. I'm going to assign it to an extra AR. I have guard at guarding position, guard at guarding position. And then I'm going to have him. Ah, we can have two of them. We're going to have two of them. Right there. Two, two. And uh, we're going to get to flags and attacking through defending in a bit. But first thing we're not we're going to want to do is set up our firing positions. Now this is this can be tricky if not done correctly. Essentially how AI following works is whenever the player is near the like we have group indexes here A through Z. So whenever the player is near group A, the AI will go to any A positions. So if I have A here and A here and the player is right here, the play the AI will go to any of these. So if the player is over here by this one, he's at firing position A, but the AI will see this as firing position A2, and so they'll go to either of these. So the AI, the AI aren't that smart in Halo, essentially. So what we're going to want to do is create this little section here. This will be our A position. Uh, you might want to spread it out a bit more. I'm kind of clumping it up just for this tutorial. But I'm going to place B in this next section here. So when the player goes from A to B, now he's in the B sections, the AI will move up to B. And same with C. I'm doing them in like short little sections just so we can have some results here when I go in game. So we have our fire positions in a line like this. And so now what we're going to want to do is I'm going to click straight on squads. We're not going to click on any others. We're just going to click straight to squads. I'm going to click automatic migration. And essentially what automatic migration will do is allow the AI to move between any of the squads. Uh, actors, none. We're going to change the initial and return state to both guard at guarding position. I'm not sure if any others would work with AI follow, probably. But those are usually what I set, just so they'll go straight to their positions. And we can leave anything else done. So essentially imagine this as A. As a position A. So... I'm going to click automatic migration here. I'm going to go A, 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 A through attacking, through defending. That's great and all, but now we need same thing for B, C, D, E, F, G, H. So I'm just going to name these relative to their firing position. position. Speaking is hard. So B through H, and I'm going to do the exact same thing, attacking through defending, attacking through defending. So now, quite honestly, we have everything that's needed in terms of Sapien. Our AI should spawn, and we have our firing position set up, so I'm going to save this here. I'm going to go to our scripts. I am going to just copy and paste the script, which I already had copy there uh, and then in
counter. I've seen this done a few different ways, set up differently. Some people put in the uh, script where AI magically see, so that, that way their encounter will magically see the player. It's, it, that's not required there. Uh, sometimes I'll have people, I'll see like another tutorial or something where they'll create A through, know whatever, how far it goes, and then they'll take this squad here and they'll migrate it to A, which is quite honestly a unnecessary extra step. So that's why I usually just leave this first one as A. Quite honestly, we could do this, and then that's the exact same thing. So when we spawn, you know, the encounter, when we spawn encounter, you know, these guys will spawn, but since, you know, no other squad has anything set up, you know, we don't have to worry about those spawning. So I usually do follow by encounter. So every time I need, like, a new group to follow, I usually just create that encounter. It's just a simple, easy way out. And so, AI place, AI follow target players, encounter, save, uh, compile, save again. And we're going to go in game and check th this out. Boom, let's start this up. And uh, here I am. Uh, here are my two little encounters, or my squads. I'm going to move up here. I'm now over B. They've now moved up to B. I'm going to move over here to C. They now have moved to a C position. And so now when I keep walking, boom, ba boom, they just keep on going. So as you see, they stay in their positions until I move over to the next firing positions. So they're staying here until I move up. So when you place them closer together, they'll move you know, closer together. Obviously, if I had, like, AI here, they'll move up to fight the AI. So, it's not like they're brain dead when, you know, you have enemies. So, say, I could have from this tree to that rock all just be, like, one firing position. But if I have AI here, and when I come up here to fight, the AI will actually move up to fight with me. So, it's not like they stay, you know, right there. They will move up when there's enemies. So, obviously, I didn't go out this far, so they're not following me anymore, which is kind of sad, but AI are really stupid. So, that's essentially how you set it up. I'm going to show you why we had to set it up the way we just did. Alright, so I'm going to show you why we had to set it up the way we did, and what happens when you don't set it up the way we did. So I'm going to go, I'm going to remove all of this, and I'm just going to call this first squad here. Oh, I'm just going to call this extra AR, whatever, that doesn't matter. I'm just going to do A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. Right? Those are all of our F, G, H. Those are all of our firing positions, right? So, sure, that, it seems logical that they should work like this, but it won't work like this. Alright, now that we're in game, we can see our squads have spawned, but suddenly when I move up to B, they're not following me to B. Follow me. And so my explanation for this is because of automatic migration, the squads don't just you know, move to B, they move to an entirely new squad, and that entirely new squad has all their firing positions at B. So, obviously, you know, you could set, you can mix it about, you don't have to just limit that one squad at B, but, you know, as you see here, you know, I'm over A through H, so they're going to go to anywhere that's A through H, and they're not going to follow me. So, following doesn't mean the AI are just going to follow you. That means that they're going to follow the squad that's near your firing position, which is really weird, and I don't know why Halo set up like that, but that's essentially how it works, and so I hope this helps you out when you start making AI follow you correctly, and see you next tutorial whenever in like 12 months.